this side. And we replace some rashi rings in the, in the system. There we go. And we remove the, uh, the funnel. And there you have it. I put a couple of drops of, the, of, of seal oil on each of the, the joints so that when they, they go together, that we, uh, we have a nice, a nice clear seal. And turn around the other way. Not only that, Earl, but uh, we need to be able to get them apart when we're finished. Right. That would be very helpful. In we go. We turn the apparatus so we have a nice clear seal. Bravo. Ready to go on the condenser? Mm -hmm. Bring him in. Turn it. So we have a good clear seal. Bravo. We have success. Okay, we have a cut. Now putting on that downfall, Earl, you're uh, looking for a nice clear seal, exactly. are you not? We are, right. Here. Let me zoom in on Let that if I can. That. I think that would be, that's much easier to see than this one and this one because this one's obscured by the clamp. Right. And, uh, notice, notice how clear yeah. the seal is. Notice how clear this Notice that ground that we, glass joint is no yeah, longer yeah, milky we can looking. This right here is for, for contrast. We can show the troops the difference in a. Uh, yeah, notice the difference between the unlubricated ground glass joint of the that, flask and the lubricated, and the lubricated ground glass yes. joint between the condenser and the downfall. Yeah, that's right. Now, we'll back out and you can see the downfall. Now notice that the downfall is held by a, a regular clamp. To be, we want the apparatus to be well supported. And we can, when we lead check, the thing that we look for when we're lead checking is we look for clarity in these joints. So that's what we want to, we want to emphasize that for the little troops. Your uh, and, uh, safety you, check yeah. is the last thing that you do before you actually charge the apparatus. Right. Now, uh, as Earl has just told you, yeah. you want to make sure that the, the joints are all clear. All ground glass joints should be clear and not milky. That's right. A beautiful clarity there. Now we're going to charge the flask using a 60 degree filtering funnel right down the old thermometer port. And, away we go. and here we go with our magic elixir. And uh, we use a funnel to do this so that the liquid pours straight down into the bottom of the flask and doesn't go down the side arm into the receiver. And the reason for that, of course, is purity of the product. Purity of the product, exactly. Now, folks, distillation is an old art. It's been practiced by man for over 4,000 years. Longer than, fortunately, we've been able to make, uh, uh, we've been able to distill alcohol much longer than we've been able to make soap. And it's because of that, we really needed the alcohol. Very true. Very true. Imagine cuddling up with the one you love and finding out that she smells like a polar bear. Not a good thing. Is... Now notice how Earl is assembling the thermometer. Notice that he's supporting the glassware. Notice he's not trying to drop the thermometer uh, further down into the apparatus. Now if you will notice, and uh, here we're going to zoom in. Mm -hmm. Notice the location of the bulb of the thermometer. Do you see that blue right in the middle of the frame, ladies and gentlemen? That blue is the bulb of the thermometer. Notice, and there's Earl pointing to it, notice that it is right on a level with the takeoff at the still head. 
because it's there that the temperature matters. And remember, we want to make, for every calorie we put in with the heater, we want to be able to remove that calorie with some cooling water. So we'll assemble the condenser and put on the, uh, the, the water hoses. Now, we have, a, we have the water line in that comes into the bottom of the condenser, and we have the water line out that goes onto the top of the condenser. We want to keep the hoses away from the heating. We want to, always want to keep the, the rubber hoses away from the hot surface on the heating uh, on the uh, heating mantle or the, the hot surface of the hot plate. So now we have our now we have our we, now we, we go back and make sure that we have uh, in assembling the apparatus that we have not put a torque in the glass and pulled the glass apart. And so we come back. We have our, our hoses well attached. And now we should, we're ready to begin the distillation.